This is part two of lesson 3.2 on angle measures. We're going to look at postulate 3.2. It's called the protractor postulate. It's going to tell you how to use a protractor. Remember, a protractor is just a tool that's going to measure an angle. So here are the instructions for using a protractor. It's probably not going to mean as much to you without looking at this. OK, so this yellow semicircle is supposed to be your protractor. Now there, there is a scale that works from the left to the right on your protractor where it starts at zero degrees and it slowly works towards notice how this one's 65 and then it works to 90. So see how this angle right here looks like a 90 degree angle. That's because it is from zero to 90 gives you those 90 degrees and that's how many degrees are in between these two rays. OK, so back to that scale, we're going from 0 to 65 to 90. And as we increase a little bit more to 160 and then down to 180. So notice how this angle right here is 180 degrees. We're going from 0 to 180. OK, so those top numbers show you the scale that goes from the left to the right. Now, the bottom numbers, they're also a scale. You can measure the angles that face the other way. So we're going from 0 up to 20 uh, and again to 90. Look at this angle right here. Between these two rays, there are 90 degrees. So that's a right angle. So bottom numbers again, we're looking at the, the scale going right to left. We've got a 0, a 20, a 90, 115 degrees, and then again back at 180. So every single ray that goes through a spot on a protractor is going to have two numbers associated with it. You really only need one of the numbers, though, and then you can decide which number you want to use. You can either use the top or the bottom. It's totally. So we'll do one example just to get the feel for how you would use this protractor postulate. We're going to look for the measure. That's what this little M means of angle AFB. Find angle AFB, trace it with your finger or your pencil. We need the measure of it. How many degrees are in between these two rays? Well, if you look at the top numbers, we have a zero and we have a 65. The protractor postulate tells you to just take those values, zero and 65, and subtract them. Now, it's possible when you subtract, depending on which number you use first, you could get a negative answer. We're only focused on positive angle measures. So all of our angle measures are going to be positive, just like our segment lengths were positive. Now, if you looked at this angle, angle AFB, it sure does look like it's acute, and it makes sense because we just calculated its measure as 65. So we use the scale going left to right. That's the top numbers. You could have also used this scale going right to left. You could have used the bottom numbers. So how many degrees are in between 180 and 115? You could subtract them as well. You're still going to get 65. So the measure of this angle will be the same either way. Either subtract both tops or both bottoms. OK, let's try the next one. Measure of angle CFD. That's how you read this. Here's angle CFD. It sure does look like an acute angle again. Now we need its measure, so we need to subtract some numbers. We can do 160 minus 90. And we also could have done 90 minus 20. Notice how you've would gotten the same answer as 70. And again, that matches back up with us classifying that angle as acute. Next one, find the measure of angle BFE. BFE. It's this big fat angle. It's obtuse. So make sure when you solve for this answer that you get something bigger than 90. We can use either pair of numbers, remember, either scale. If you look at both top numbers, we have a 180. 
where ray Fe comes through. And where ray Fb comes through, we have a 65. One eighty minus sixty five gives you one hundred and fifteen degrees. That's definitely an obtuse angle. Now, there's nothing wrong with subtracting those two numbers, but we want you to be aware that if there is a zero that you can use, you should probably use it because subtracting with zero is very easy. If we would use the bottom numbers, one fifteen minus zero, that gives you one fifteen. That's easier than subtracting sixty five from one eighty. Okay, let's try the next one. Measure of angle DFA. Here's D, here's F, here's A. It's again a fat angle, it's obtuse. I'm kind of running out of room to write this, but notice how I have a zero. So I'm gonna use that little trick. The zero is my top number. My top number over here is 160. So you could have did 160 minus zero, or you could have done 180 minus 20. It's going to give you the same answer. Just find the two rays and subtract the numbers. Next one, measure of angle BFD. That's this guy right here. It's probably pretty tough to classify right now. It kind of looks like a right angle, but we're not positive that it is. Let's subtract some numbers. 115 minus 20. That gives you 95. So this angle is actually a little bit bigger than a right angle. This is an obtuse angle. You can't tell that before you find its measure just because it looks like a right angle. Okay, then your last one is angle AFE. That's a straight angle. It goes from zero all the way over to 180. So straight angles have a measure of 180. 